Hello, in this video I'm going to have a look at using the Atom editor from GitHub to see whether we can make that work with debugging and xDebug. I've never used this before, so bear with me while I struggle along. The first thing that we need to do is to install the PHP debug package by clicking the Install a Package button and then click Open Installer. The package that we need to install is PHP debug. After installing the package, it also recommends a whole bunch of other packages to install, some of them which are necessary, such as Atom Debug UI. I will just click yes on all of them. Then we need to set some settings for PHP Debug package itself. It seems that the PHP Debug package still uses the old default port 9000, so we need to change that to 9003. The rest we can leave default now, because we'll be debugging a project on my local machine. There's also a few settings here for whether to break automatically on a certain set of exceptions, which you might or might not want to do. You can also configure the key bindings and there's a readme at the bottom. Now we need to open a project. For this demo I will use the xdebug website itself. Let's now set the debugger in listen mode to catch incoming requests. I click on packages, select debug, and then turn on toggle debugging. We will also need to make a breakpoint, which I'll do in my router file. The moment I open up a file, it says that it couldn't find my PHP runtime. Let me now do that, although we don't actually need that for this demo, as we will be starting the debugging request from the command line. It is apparently right here, I missed that. I click the note away and set a breakpoint in my router. On the third line. I will also close the welcome guide. On the right hand side you now see the debugger is not attached, but we can safely ignore that. On the command line I will now start the PHP build on web server to serve the xdebug.org website. Now the web server is running, I can make a request. I have installed the xdebug helper extension, with which I will now enable the debugger. Let me now request a page. In the debugging view, it now stops at the line 80, which is a direct line. I do not understand why it did not stop at my breakpoint. Let's see what our current state of our variable stack is though. So we switch to the PHP debug tab. And here we have in the stack that it's trying to do a few things. So the last function call is file get constant, which is this one. And the local variables in there we can't see because this is an internal function. If you switch to main, then we can inspect the locals and it says that matches is an array of two with some files in there. But for some reason it couldn't follow. I will just continue running the request now. It turns out that by setting a breakpoint in a margin by clicking the dot is not something that works for the PHP debugger. The breakpoint that you see here on the right hand side is also therefore irrelevant. So let me just close this debugger window as it does nothing useful. And set the breakpoint in the right way. Which I do under debugger hide debugger pane. Instead to set a breakpoint you need to go to packages debug toggle breakpoint. When I now re-request the page in a browser it should now break on this line 3. I test that by refreshing the page. And now you can see it indeed stopped at the line. Let's now step over things. As usual with xdebug, you can inspect the variables. In this case I want to know the contents of requested URL and contents, so let me step over contents to see what's in there. I click on locals to do so, 
you see contents is now a bunch of HTML and requested URI is the slash. Let me now step into this function and once more to get to page. I'm not interested in a load class function, so I shall step out. But I'm interested to see what is to send in the constructor here. The contents we've already seen, which is HTML, there's head extra as well as the title. When I now continue, it should do the whole rest of the request. It will pop up for every request that's being made. So I'm just going to click continue until we have done all the requests that makes up everything that goes through the router. There is still the one here where it shows in red on a PHP error, I believe. That is because in the bottom right, we have set breakpoints for FATO errors, catchable FATO errors, and so on and so on. If you don't want to do that, you can turn these off. For now, I will just continue to click continue until every request is being handled. And here we have it. We have debugged our first page with Atom. In conclusion, the Atom editor has two sets of debuggers. The standard one isn't actually the one used for Xdebug. Instead, you have to do the slightly more clutchy version where you set breakpoints by clicking on packages under debug and then toggle breakpoint or you key Alt F9. Unfortunately for me, that is already mapped to some other action. If you enjoyed this video, please click like and subscribe. I'll be back in a future video.